Hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans and sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and we are back with some more adventures here. Now I know a lot of you guys uh, were asking if uh, the previous episode was the last episode and the answer is of course not. We're definitely going to keep on playing the game here, keep on exploring the world as we're waiting for more updates to be delivered by the developers here. And I have a feeling that probably the next update is going to be another story update. Uh, which I, me personally, I really, really want to get because I really want to explore a little bit of the story here and uh, see what's actually happening with uh, Mr. Pimpleton. I feel like probably this may be the one where Mr. Pimpleton may escape thanks to his uh, son. Maybe his son is actually going to finally help him escape this time. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, as the developers have been a little bit silent here lately, they haven't really uh, been posting anything, but uh, I do believe that very soon we are gonna see some things coming. Maybe next month? I don't know, fingers crossed. But in the meantime guys, uh, I've been playing this game quite a lot, uh, but I haven't really been doing a lot of uh, deliveries I've been watching. Uh, ever since the update for the delivery truck and everything has been released, I did do deliveries, everything that I had to deliver to the custom shops at the racetrack, but uh, after that, I was kind of done with it, I didn't really play it anymore. So uh, in this one, I'm actually planning on jumping into my brand new cars here, as you guys can see. I've customized it in order for this one to work as a delivery car. And it kind of works pretty good. Uh, the only problem I'm having is that it, it is a little bit too fast. And I don't think I'm really enjoying it as fast as it is. So because of that, let me actually change it into something else. Let me jump into right over here. And I feel like I'm actually going to use the monster truck. I feel like the monster truck is the perfect vehicle for this. So let me make my way inside over here. I know it's not as fast as the uh, speeding car, but... You know what? It is fast enough, and uh, you definitely don't need to have such a fast car in this game. Uh, let me see. Roof required, roof required, yada yada yada. Oh, so I do have to put the roof on if I want to make this one to be a mail delivery truck. Look at that. Hmm. So I gotta go into specials and purchase the custom roof. Which, of course, we do not have the money for. Interesting. Well, now we know. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot make this one into a delivery truck. That's okay, because in this case, we are going to have to go with the uh, supercar. That is okay. I guess uh, we're just going to have to try to be uh, a little bit of a better driver here with it. It is really fast, but we can definitely handle it. Alright, buddy. Let's go to job. Let's try to get ourselves a few deliveries here. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. I definitely did not want it to push that fella. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was saying, that the vehicle is just way too fast right now. So difficult to control. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? So, what are these guys going to give us today? Um, Hopefully some really expensive projects, though. Hey, I got a new delivery for you. You need to pick up the package from the gas station attendant at the gas station. Once you got the package, bring it to the museum. Owner at the museum. 150 for this. Actually, 125. Uh, this one is actually pretty easy to do. And of course, if you don't uh, save the information that you just got from this fella, you can actually always go into your clipboard right over here and uh, check it out and see what this is all about. So this one is taking uh, it's telling us that we gotta pick up the package from the gas station and ship it to the museum owner. And not to mention, we got a time of let's see, we got a delivery by 9 p.m. We definitely have enough time because it's early in the morning, we just barely started the day. You can even go ahead and do other stuff as you keep on going here and then uh, make your way to the mission whenever you feel like uh, is the best time to do it. Especially for me, look at this, I'm actually gonna make my way inside over here inside the trash. Get rid of this one. Let me put some golden fishes in here because we do have these fillers that we gotta sell to the uh, trash bear at the sawmill. Alright. Are they ready? I mean, at least this one, I think it is. And this one is now as well. Perfect. And while we're at it, I think I'm also gonna grab these things after I'm done uh, collecting the stuff from this fella. Hey, you must be here for the package. Here you go. That'll do for the museum. All right, buddy. Let me go and grab you uh, some uh, beef jerky. And hopefully we're not gonna get caught by the cops here. Nah, we're good. Look at this. So fast. That guy didn't have time to exit his vehicle. And of course, next up, we gotta make our way to the museum. Which is right here. Oh god. Oh, so close. Oh, 
did they actually change the way this place looks? Or did it look like this road, I mean, once we finish the museum? Huh. Interesting. Alright, and I feel like we gotta deliver this one to uh, this fella on the, li on the left side here. Let's see what he's gonna say. I was actually expecting to deliver this one to the uh, clerk here in the front. Well, my package is here. Candy, blueberry soda, chocolate bar, a blueberry soda, and beef jerky. <laughs> hey, I've been looking forward to this. I'll just sign it for you. Done. Thanks. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves uh, 150 coins. 125, actually. Man, I love it that we have the Sasquatch here, the hidden Sasquatch as well. <laughs> I mean, this is the only place you can actually have Sasquatch, uh, two of them at the same time. And kind of fool people around that there is multiplayer already available in the game. It is so cool that they had added this one. Alright, let's keep on making our way then to uh, the delivery. Nope, not here. I want my vehicle. There we go. And uh, let's get ourselves some more, ve uh, some more missions. I'm really hoping to get myself a mission that's going to have me going to the mountains. Uh, just because I actually have some business to attend to at the sawmill as well. So let's just grab ourselves some more missions. There we go. And let's see what this is all about. Alright, we gotta get the package that needs to be the information clerk at the Island Visitor Center. You'll get 500 for this. Oh! Alright, that is not bad at all. This means you already gave me the package. All I gotta do is just go there. Um, of course, we are gonna have to spend 100 coins in order to get there with the vehicle because we gotta, we gotta take the ferry. But at least we don't have to go there to grab a package and then make our way back on the mainland. So this one is actually not a bad mission at all. Oh god, I am so sorry about that, buddy. Alright, hold up. Let me make my way to the ferry. Right over here. Let me... Oh, dang it! We just lost the ferry. Are you kidding me? Mm. Yeah, well, I guess uh, we are gonna have to wait one minute here until the ferry is gonna arrive. But thankfully, you guys are not gonna have to wait this long because uh, with the magic of editing, we are back. Look at that. <laughs> the time has passed and now we're hopefully gonna be able to make our way on the ferry. Come on, buddy. Open up. There we go. Perfect. I'm not gonna be worried about time here. I'm pretty sure we have enough time to get to our destination. Alright, buddy. There we go. Finally met it. Alright, so with this one, we are gonna have to make our way to the information clerk, right? Uh, which is gonna be right over here. Hey, my package is here. Tea, pizza, and tea. Look at that. I've been looking forward to this. I'll just sign it for you. Done. Thanks. Uh, as I was on the island here, look at this. Apparently there are bikes around. And we can also go ahead and use them. That is really cool. Of course, we do have to wait a, a minute, I think, for the uh, ferry to come back. And while we do that, we can definitely go ahead and explore the world a little bit here. Whoa, what is this? Are you kidding me? Is this like the supercar? Yeah, I think this is the supercar edited by, customized by somebody here on the island. I mean, it definitely doesn't look better than ours. Is it like the supercar? I think it is, right? For some reason, mine kind of feels like it's a little bit longer though. So maybe this is not really the supercar, this is just the uh, race car, yeah. And at the same time, hold up, let me actually pull this one like against mine. To see if it is longer. Yeah, mine is definitely longer, look at that. So I'm guessing this is not a supercar. Hmm, weird. Weird indeed. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, purchase myself another ticket, I guess. Actually, you know what? I don't have to purchase another ticket. Because if I do this, I will have to spend some money on that. So, uh, let me actually fast travel over here. There we go. Thankfully, we don't have to pay purchase another ticket. Because uh, we've already purchased a ticket to get to that island. Next up... Unfortunately, my vehicle is not here anymore, so uh, what I'm gonna have to, have to do here is just go and get myself some sleep, reset the day, and uh, rinse and repeat, go back to the deliveries and uh, get some more deliveries going. Uh, it's so strange because we haven't managed to do that many deliveries today. I think we only made two of them, or three actually. Hmm. I was definitely expecting to be able to do more. 
All right, anyway, buddy, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we got to do. So for now, we don't have any shipping deliveries, but if I'm going to make my way to the office, hopefully this guy's going to give me some. If you do manage to get yourself only 500 coins delivery worth deliveries, uh, you're definitely going to be able to make a lot of money in no time, but uh, not all the missions that you're grabbing from the office here are going to be worth 500 coins. So, yeah, that's that. Alright buddy, what you got for me today? Alright, I got a hot new delivery for you. You need to pick up the package from the fisher at the lake. Once you got the package, bring it to the information clerk at the town. If I found out for this one as well, interesting. So yeah, this is one of the missions that I was talking about. Uh, thankfully we don't have to leave the mainland here, all we gotta do is just uh, spend our time on the mainland. Uh, trying to get deliveries from one point to the other. And because we do have this really fast vehicle, we're actually gonna get to the fisher in no time. So right here, all I gotta do is go all the way to the bottom without hitting anything, I guess. Come on, buddy, keep on going down. There we go. Uh, let's have a little bit of chat with the fisherman. Grab his package and then go back into town. Hey, you must be here for the package. Here you go. That'll do for the information clerk on the town. Actually, the town hall. Uh, good thing that I... Uh, Check to read that again to make sure I know what I gotta go. I mean, even if you don't manage to read what this guy is saying, uh, you do have the clipboard that you can actually go ahead and back on, on it whenever you want and uh, read where you got to deliver the package that you're grabbing. So, let me make my way to the town hall as fast as possible and get this one delivered. Uh, just because we're getting 500 for this one, this is just an easy way to get a lot of money. I think you're spending about two minutes, if I'm not mistaken, to go to the fisherman and then go back in town. Yeah, I don't think you're really wasting that much that much time by doing this one. All right, we are at the town hall, and we're done. Look at that! Hey, my package is here. We got a bass, carp, and pike. I've been looking forward to this. I'll just sign it for you. Done. Thanks. Look at that! I found the coins! So easy! So, so easy indeed. Alright, before we keep on going here, I'm actually gonna have to eat up something because we're kinda starving. And the way we're gonna do it is by simply making our way into the burger town here, into the diner. Uh, let me also grab a few patties from the fridge. And this is gonna be my food. The reason I'm going with this one is because um, you don't really have to go into the supermarket and run away from the cops. All you gotta do is just grab here, grab the foods, and these are actually not gonna call the cops on you. Which is definitely the way to go. Alright buddy, thank you very much. Let me grab this. This. And a little bit of ketchup. There we go. Perfect. Now while we're here, I'm also gonna make my way to one of the trash cans just because I gotta put the beef jerky that we got in our backpack. And after that, we're definitely gonna go and grab ourselves another mission. Hold on, buddy. Just park it here for a second, please. Just like that. And let me grab the beef jerky. There we go. What's the price on gas today? Let's see. It's four sixty-seven. Huh. I know that a lot of people were kind of trying to figure out if uh, the price for the gas kind of resembles something, since uh, the price is different every single day. But uh, after, but uh, but uh, after trying out different things, I didn't really realize if uh, the price is different. I didn't really notice. Uh, I mean, the prices yes are different, but I didn't really notice it uh, really resembling something. Um, I also tried using it like as a phone number, but that also didn't really do anything either. All right, I got a hot new delivery for you. I've got a package here that needs to be gone. Uh, that needs to go to the information clerk at the town hall. Just fifty coins for this one. Alright buddy, I just came from that location, but that's fine. I really want to get a package that needs to go into the mountain or the sauna somewhere. Alright buddy, let's see how many deliveries we can actually do today. So, the uh, clerk is right over here. Hopefully these guys are not going to push my vehicle. Because my vehicle has to be parked in here in order for the delivery to be counted. 
All right, a dog ball. Perfect. Easy. Easy mission done. Let's keep on going. Come on, buddy. Just give me a mission that I'm going to have to go to the sawmill. Even if I got to go there and pick up something. I don't care. Just let me make my way to the mountain. All right, buddy. What else? I got a hot new delivery for you. You'll need to pick up the package from the host at the diner. Once you got the package, bring it to the receptionist at R Corp. Seriously? So easy. These are some really easy uh, packages that we gotta get delivered here. I wish there were like a list of uh, packages you can actually choose from and uh, do only the missions that you want instead of just getting one of these at a time and not having a choice if you want to actually uh, choose it or not. I mean, of course, you can decline it if you want to, but if I do decline it, I don't think it's actually going to give me a better one after that. Alright, there we go. We got this one needs to go to Arcorp. This one is also a pretty easy mission, but of course, at the same time, just because it's so easy, you're only getting... Oh my god, I did not want to do that. I am so sorry about that. Can I actually run away from the cops? Oh, yes we can, but uh, that is not the way to do it. I should have hit myself inside the parking. I should think it. All up, I think what I'm going to have to do here is... Not that, because I am going to get myself caught. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to actually exit this area. Oh no, never mind. Look at that. We actually got away from the cops. Because this vehicle is just so fast, it's so difficult for them to catch me. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Alright, let me park this over here and get the package delivered. We're fine, look at that. Easy. Of course, 50 coins is definitely not worth it, but uh, we kind of went through a lot of trouble in order to get this one delivered. But as I was saying, because this vehicle is so, so fast, it's really difficult to control. And it's definitely going to be a matter of time until you're going to actually run over somebody. Alright, let's see. What else? Hey, buddy. Got something new for me? I've got a hot new delivery for you, buddy. I've got a package here that needs to go to the information clerk at the Island Visitor Center. You'll get 500 for this. Huh. Interesting. Again, another mission that I would have us going on the island, but we're gonna only spend 100 coins on the ferry because we already have the package. All we gotta do is just deliver it. I'm still really, really hoping to get myself a package for the mountains. Alright, thankfully the ferry is almost here. There we go, and all we gotta do now is just uh, make our way on the island. But once again, with the magic of everything, the timer has already passed. There we go, perfect. Alright buddy, let's keep on going. I'm on board. Let's keep on going buddy. Alright, there we go. Now I'm really curious what time it is. Uh, am I gonna be able to do more packages for the day? The problem is, if I am going to fast travel somewhere home, is my vehicle going to also be transported there? Because I really don't want to spend a hundred more coins uh, in order to get the vehicle delivered home. Oh, hold up. I don't have to go here, actually. I got to go to the information clerk, which is going to be right here. Come on, buddy. Mark. And we got the package. Perfect. Chocolate milk. This one was a really awesome one. Look at that. 500 coins. Not bad at all. Alright, so from this side, if I actually manage to fast travel... Well, I'm guessing like right over here. Is the car going to also be delivered? I know that usually when you go here, the car also gets delivered, but... I don't think it's going to work this time. Is this going to be a sea cucumber? Am I going to be that lucky? Let's try it out. Come on, see cucumber. Nope, just an urchin. All right. Anyway, it is what it is. And just as I thought, unfortunately, the car did not fast travel to this location. 
uh, which means I cannot really do any more deliveries without the, the uh, delivery truck. Alright, well, in that case, you know what? Let me make my way to the mountain here for a second. Uh, let me make my way to my friend on the right side. And let's get rid of all these oranges from the backpack. Why not? Just get a few more extra coins. There we go. 350. Alright, and we already reached a score of 6,000. Uh, that is a pretty good uh, amount of coins to have at the moment. As you guys know, the latest update has been taking a lot of stuff from us. Uh, we have to spend a lot of stuff on uh, resources. And, we still are, and we're still not done yet. We still have to purchase a lot more uh, for the rest of the vehicles, which I'm definitely going to try to do. Definitely, definitely going to have to try to do. So, let me go inside here. And when we wake up in the morning, I think I actually want to make myself an outfit. Uh, just so that Sasquatch kind of looks more like a delivery guy. I know I've already done the deliveries, uh, so... Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm still going to do a few more deliveries here. But I do want to get myself a better outfit. Alright, so, uh, in order to get an outfit that's kind of the same style as the delivery people... I think we're gonna have to make it like brown and with the yellow tie. Hey buddy, I need a new outfit. Uh, yeah, I know it's gonna cost a hundred, that's okay. Let's just make this happen. So, uh, in order to make a new outfit, I think I'm gonna wanna change this one right here into the one I want. Uh, so first of all, let me choose the colors. Actually, let's go with the outfit first of all. I am going to need one of these outfits that has a tie on. Uh, as for the head... Hmm... What type of delivery guy do we want to be? <laughs> we could be like a clown one. Actually, this kind of looks like a delivery person, yeah, with the uh, cap on and everything. Uh, I don't want a beard, no. But I would like to have some glasses, yeah, let's go with those glasses. Of course, the shoes on as well. Next up, let's just change the colors. Uh, for the colors, we are going to have to go with the brownish colors, right? Uh, which is going to be something like maybe this color. Yeah, I feel like this is the color that we're looking for, actually. So this one is going to be the tie, which is going to have to be very maybe goldish, not like that yellow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with yellow, with a gold color. Uh, so for this one, it is going to have to be here and here. There we go. This one's gonna have to be here, just like that. I mean, we're definitely gonna be looking like a UPS guy right now. <laughs> I could definitely also go with uh, the glasses being kind of the same style, but you know what? Maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, let's just go with them like that. And as for the shoes, what if I make them like the gold look? Similar to the tie. Yeah, I kind of like that actually. I actually kind of like this a, a, a lot. Alright, we're good. Looking good. Real good. Maybe even too good if that's possible. Uh, do you want to make any changes? No. Thanks. Drop by anytime. Alright, and look at this. We now definitely look like a delivery guy. Absolutely. Alright, let's make our way then to the office again. Uh, just because I'm really hoping to get myself a package. That's gonna need to go to the mountain. I know that uh, there are a lot of strategies on making money in Sneaky Sasquatch, but uh, have you guys actually used this strategy in your gameplays? Uh, I've only done this uh, just to finish up the story mode, but I've never done it considering that I could actually get a lot of money in it. Uh, the only reason I've done it is just to uh, try to be... Uh, just to try to finish up the story mode on it. Now, I do see that I didn't really get the proper colors that the same ones that these guys have, but I feel like I kind of like the grade of color that I chose better than the ones that they have. Alright, this guy wants me to go to the mechanic of the garage. Hmm, pretty easy. But uh, I was really hoping to get a mission to go to the mountain again. Anyway, let's just go ahead and do this one real fast. Come on, buddy. It kind of looks like uh, yesterday he sent me a lot to go on the island. Uh, when today, he's actually sending me on this other side, the right side. So hopefully this is the day where we're going to be doing deliveries where we want to do them. Alright, so, uh, this one needs to go to this fellow right here. Hey, buddy! 
Whoa, my package is here. Lime soda. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We got it. Pretty easy mission indeed. But uh, I am going to keep on going though because I want to keep on getting myself more packages. Hold up. What the heck is happening? <laughs> this car is so fast. I cannot control it. Uh, let's see what we're going to get today. So for this mission, we're going to get... Uh, let's see, a package that needs to go to the lodge. There we go, finally. And we're also getting 500 coins for this one. There you go. I really wanted to go here because I do have to get myself uh, to the sawmill. And I was kind of right, look at that. Apparently in today's uh, deliveries, uh, we're only going to have to go to the right side of the map. And yesterday, we only had to go to the left side. Interesting. I'm curious if this is kind of how it works. Alright, and all we gotta do here is, first of all, of course, I'm gonna stop by right over here by the trash bear. I'm also gonna do a little bit of a pit stop at the golden fish because I do wanna get myself another golden fish. I'm pretty sure another one has spawned in. And then I'm gonna make my way to the lodge because I'm 100% sure that we have enough time to get there. Look at that, a thousand coins. Perfect. Easy money. Now, if you guys are bored of doing the monster truck of madness races, uh, you can definitely keep on doing this one, just uh, selling trash food to the trash bear. This is definitely still a really great way to make a lot of money in the game, including the oranges as well while we add it, why not? And whenever you go here to uh, sell some stuff to this fella, just do not forget about the golden fish. Always, always check on the golden fish because the golden fish is worth 400 coins if you sell it to the trash bear and put it in the trash as well. So, uh, you definitely do not want to waste uh, this golden fish here. Did he spawn in? It did, look at that. Free money. And look at that. It is that easy to get the money. Are you kidding me? Definitely gonna keep on coming here every single time. Alright, buddy. Let's finish up this mission. All we gotta do now is just deliver the package to, uh... God. I just delivered the package to the lumber mill and that should be all, actually to the lodge. What I would really like is that if the developers would actually change the way you're actually delivering things around here, uh, just because it's a little bit too easy to deliver stuff and I feel like uh, they should not allow us to crash our car this much. And of course, if you do that, the package would just get ruined and uh, in the end, you will not be able to deliver it properly. It would be great if you had uh, some sort of very, very expensive and packages that we have to deliver that, that should not be crashed into something. Uh, similar to what we're doing when we're trying to get people with the taxis, right? If you do crash with uh, somebody inside your car, they are going to start complaining and they're not going to pay you the max amount. So uh, if you had that deliveries, that would be really cool as well. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, uh, I think uh, this is going to be the end of the episode so far. And when we come back in the next one, I think we're going to try to be exploring uh, something else. Uh, something again that we haven't been playing that much. Uh, and what I'm thinking is that maybe I'm going to go into uh, the mountain here and uh, try to do a little bit of skiing. We definitely haven't been doing that much skiing. And also not to mention the Snowball Royale. That one is something that I've been doing a lot uh, when the update has come out for it. Uh, but I'm really, really missing playing Snowball Royale. Anyway guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching yet another episode of Stinky Sasquatch. If you all enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the bell button below. Subscribe if you guys are new here to the channel as I'm planning to post more videos just like this one. Including live streams of course, that you guys can join in and we can have fun together. And in the meantime, stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one coming up really soon. Bye everybody!